What is up guys, Matt here coming at you with another quick video. This one just gonna show off how I ended up building out this Fury Tech Cayman ARTR kit. So this is a almost ready to run kit from Fury Tech. If you haven't seen my initial video on this, definitely check it out. Shows kind of all the stuff you get with this for the price tag of 200 bucks. It is insane. You're getting, you know, aluminum steering links, which have a really cool design to them. The Komodo motor, uh, just crazy value in this thing. So check that video out. But um, this is how I've kind of built it out. I just want to show you guys. I put a Lizard Pro in it with my micro receiver. I need to wrap that now that I'm back home. I can put a um, get some wrap on that. But um, I basically slapped this body on that I put together for this rig. This is pretty similar to this but just totally customized, right? So this is the original FCX transmission with the Fury Tech Micro Komodo. And you can see I still have the two speed and everything in this. Uh, honestly, I feel like this is the way to go because the two speed, you really don't need it. It's just added weight, added weight in the transmission, added weight at the servo, extra wires. You can see my mess, uh, rat's nest of wires there. So really and i'll show you in a minute the slow crawl and the speed of this setup which is what i built a while back um, fury tech just kind of took that and adapted it into this and made the ultimate 24 scale in my opinion this is really what i prefer to build now uh, i will show you mine that is set up just like this basically so this truck here has the cheat code chassis but you can see that's what i did with it I did a SCX24 transmission and the FCX axles. So you have the perfect slow crawl, plenty of wheel speed. I do like the overdrive transmission in this. This has the hot racing overdrive transmission, so it gives me some overdrive to the front because you can't at the moment get gears that give you overdrive for these FCX axles. So there's no overdrive on this truck. Really, that's the only thing I would add to this. Um, but this is probably my best rig, to be honest. And now Fury Tech offers basically the same setup and you can get it a lot cheaper for 200 bucks. Um, so this is just a great value. So all, all I've done to this, honestly, I moved the screw from the steering up front to the rear. You guys know if you see my steering mod video, you can get just a little bit more steering I did that and put my electronics in it and it's ready to row. I slapped on some trail wheels with the LGRP Swamp Kings. They do have the flubber stuffers in them, vented. So we're gonna run this thing a little bit. And then I wanted to run it as is, and then I'm going to extend it a little. I prefer them extended a little, so I'm going to go ahead and extend it back. And then that will give me more shock options, honestly, because <clears throat> one thing about this, with the way these axles line up and everything, I'm never gonna run my shocks back here for the most part. I want them laid forward and that's as far as I can get them right now. When I extend this and bring this axle back, then I can, those will be laid a little more because the bottom of them will be at back here. So um, I think extending that's gonna be sweet. But somebody had asked how the cliffhanger body would fit on this. It's perfect. I mean, it really is perfect. So, if you're wanting to run a cliffhanger on here, it's a great fit. You can see this Hobgoblin's a great fit. I um, always tuck those in, but um, lots of stuff works really well on this. Most SCX24 bodies will work great. I was actually probably gonna play around with this. I need to cut this rear off, but um, I may end up putting this on it once I extend it. I don't really like it, cause I'm gonna want the cab probably like this to kind of give me some clearance here. And I think it just looks too big for this shorter wheelbase. So once I extend this, I may play around with putting this on. Um, trying to work on this. This is uh, come from uh, Flubber Stuffers as well. But um, I was spraying it with some sandable filler because it just had those 3D printed lines in it. And I can't do the 3D printed lines. It, they drive me nuts. So it'll be a little while before I get that on. That's why I just made this fit. So let's go run this thing so you guys can see it in action exactly how it comes, just with some electronics installed. 
All right, so this thing, the way it sits, basically all I did was added my electronics, the Blizzard Pro and my micro receiver, these trill wheels and tires. I do have some of the stick-on golf weights around the front rings. I'll link those in the description. They're nice and easy peel and stick, and you can put them on pretty much any of the rings that go on the inside of the wheel. I do want to add outer portal covers to this eventually to give a little more weight in the front, but the way it sits now, it's at 412 grams overall, and we are 55 front to 45 rear, so we're really close to the 60-40, and then, of course, left to right is pretty even as well. So uh, this is a really good kit that's uh, easy to balance up, and uh, you can see this thing's sitting pretty good. Like I said, I think I do want the outer portal covers. I have a set of the trills I'm going to throw on the front here, and then this thing should be pretty well set other than I may extend it like I mentioned. But I'm going to run this, see how it does. I may end up leaving it. We don't know. But first thoughts, I'm probably going to extend it just because I like a little bit longer wheelbase. But let's go find out how it runs. All right, just so you guys can see this slow crawl here. Insanely smooth. And I have that little jump from the super slow to mid crawl in just a second. Right there, but it's still very manageable. Normally when you're in a spot where you need to be going slow, you're gonna be going not much faster than that. And then when you do need to speed, it has plenty. <laughs> So you guys know, I try to keep it real. I don't puff up things and try to push something that's not impressive to me. This thing is unreal. It just really is. I don't even know what to say about it. <laughs> um, I put this together. Uh, I posted a picture on YouTube here. If you subscribe, you may have seen it. You know, I was kind of putting the electronics in this in the hotel room and, um, now I got back home, I was going to shoot the clips on the table there that you've seen. And then I was going to take this thing, I'm going to be down in Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge area. There's some really good crawling down around the creeks and stuff there. If anybody's in that, down in that way, shoot me a message or whatever. And uh, let me know where to crawl. Maybe we can do some crawling or something. But uh, I planned on taking this down there and getting some shots with it. Well, I got it together. And like I said, I was shooting the clips on the bench. I had one day at home and then gone again. So I was going to take it down there and get some shots. Well, I tried it out on the course here, and I ran through these lines so fast. I was just like, I, I've got to put this in the video. I'll shoot some more when I get down there and do another video, I guess. So you guys are going to get double uh, Cayman footage. But um, I was – blown away honestly most of the time when i go to try to get these lines i have to try it two or three times or whatever uh you know i try to let it be known when i struggle with something but to get a nice clean run like this right here you know sometimes it takes a little bit longer because driver error for one sometimes i just flip off the side but <laughs> this thing i ran through everything it had no issues at all i think i have one rollover later where i like went the wrong direction or something. And this, that's not even together right now. Like I took the rocks to the right out. There used to be a little bridge across there. And so it's like really hard to get down this now. And I still made it. But uh, I couldn't believe how well this thing did. Like I said, I, I tried to leave some of this like uncut just so you could kind of see that I pieced these lines together all at once. And didn't struggle at all. Uh, just unreal. This thing feels just like my cheat code build with the SCX transmission, the FCX axles. I mean, that's what it is. It is that truck. I built that shortly after the FCX came out because I just knew in my head like it was perfect. And that thing drives great. It's probably, like I said, my best performer. Uh, besides maybe this now, this thing is amazing. Uh, 
I'm going to have to put these tires on the cheat code build because I'm running mudslingers on it right now, and they've been really good on my course here. I just kind of wanted to go back to the mudslingers for a while and revisit them, but after running these, unreal. And this entire setup is just crazy. Uh, I cannot believe for the $200 that this is, uh, it drives as good or better than that completely custom cheat code build. I have a lot of money in that thing, and this is just as good or, or better. So Fury Tech has really just taken the guesswork out of building a custom rig. If you don't just want to buy everything yourself and do it yourself in your own way, this is the way to go. I mean, a stock FCX is 150 bucks. So 50 more dollars, you get this. You're gonna to toss those <clears throat> stock wheels and tires anyways. So you're gonna need the wheels and tires for this. Um, so that's a wash. And then you're gonna to have to buy an ESC and a receiver and possibly a transmitter if you don't have a separate transmitter you use. But get you a fly sky for 65 bucks off of Amazon and a Lizard Pro and you're set, a body. I mean, these bodies are like 16 bucks. It works great. Uh, it's just, if you want to go custom, but you don't want to have to have a super thick wallet or go full on guesswork of, uh, maybe I, I'm going to try to put this with this and hopefully this works with this. This is it, man. This <laughs> it's unreal. And you guys know, I don't get like crazy freaked out over stuff that often, but to take this out of a box and I didn't even change shock setup or anything. I moved the shocks one hole just because I liked them one hole over. <laughs> Wouldn't have really mattered. Um, and then I slapped wheels and tires and my electronics in it and went. And this thing is doing what it's doing. So uh, that's super impressive. It's amazing that Fury Tech has brought us that to where we can just buy something like this, take it out of the box, and boom. You buy this, take it out of the box, and do exactly what I did right here with it. You can take it anywhere and run with anybody. I mean, it's just the truth. It's really that good. So really the only thing I know I'm gonna do this right away is trim the body a little more. Um, I really like this body on here. I'm probably just gonna leave it because this thing's doing so well. Uh, if I trim a little bit off, the larger tires are just kind of hitting it at full turn, but that's really all it needs. This thing is wicked. I mean, watch right here. Boom, straight up that. You go from slow to mid to high, boom, just fall in the, in the trigger, you know. Um, there's no two-speed to switch that gear. Watch, the, wait for the servo to engage. It goes into neutral. You roll back a little bit. Then you're in high. You bump it. It, it, there, you don't need all that it, it's crazy uh and i love the stock fcx and that two speed it is fun but with this setup right here you've got the best of both and um it, it really is just the best way to go in my opinion this setup whether you want to build it yourself or you want to buy this kit it doesn't really matter to me but this is a great setup um the wheel speed you'll see here just instant boom launched up that now this is running a 3s it has plenty on 2s but um i do have a 3s in here right now honestly the slow crawl like the transition from slow to mid is a little bit better on 2s and you still have plenty of wheel speed to do everything so um, that may even be something you prefer running is just 2s but you can see the balance of this thing. It's not tipsy. The rear end doesn't want to roll over the front like a uh, stock FCX does. That's mostly because those things have a lot of weight up high, the hard body and all that. Um, this is the exact same wheelbase as the stock FCX, but it's balanced out really well and the lighter body. So, um, you know, I, I haven't added any brass to this. I put those couple little strips of weight in the front wheels. And that's it. And it's probably like seven grams of wheel or something. I, I'm not even sure it's very little, but this thing is balanced very good like it is. So no need to go spending a lot of extra money on all this brass stuff. Um, 
Fair RC did just release the brass for the FCX that looks really cool. I got steering links and high clearance links. And uh, there was something else I ordered, but unfortunately they messaged me after I ordered it and said they were out of stock. So uh, I didn't get that, but uh, those are some pretty cool things I was gonna show you. Maybe I'll, I'll show it in another video, but I'll link them in the description. But uh, they do look pretty cool and they got some good weight to them. It's something I thought about putting on here, but it's definitely not needed after running this thing. And uh, overall, I'm just really impressed with this. You guys let me know what you think about it. Uh, I will definitely link everything in the description. All the links are just affiliate stuff. It really helps out the channel. So I appreciate everybody using those. Um, let me know what you think. I got a really cool build coming up, getting some running of it. It's kind of a Frankenstein thing I got bored and built. So um, I'll definitely show that off soon. But you can see here, I'm able to slow crawl this piece. I actually sprayed this again with the texture that I used and got enough grip on it now that I can pretty much kind of slow crawl this. The pins actually do it a little bit better, but still that's impressive. So you guys let me know what you think of this thing. Unbelievable to take this out of the box and do what it does. I appreciate everybody. Peace.